There we go. Hello oh, everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Fizzelun Drakir who is confused for... Okay, I see your arrow, but you stand still. Uh... Oh wait, okay, there we go. Uh... Let's see, did that work? If... That did work. Okay, that was just me resizing OBS a bit. So if I do this, should it stay the same? It's so much flashing. Okay, I'll just leave it there at this. It's, it's just no, it's strange. Good. But it's OBS just really doesn't like Discord, huh? <clears throat> Anyways, then. Go ahead. As I said, sometimes, yeah. Anyways, welcome back to Everland 2, where last time we got started with this game, and yeah, it's, so far it's proving to be a great improvement on Everland 1, at least as it comes to story. And hello there, Marco, you doing well? Hello, Marco! Uh, let's see, we've escaped from prison, where we allied up with a, a demon, this guy who just drops in from the ceiling. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Welcome to the River uh, Round Inn. Enjoy our home-brewed beer. Guarantees frothless every time. Sample one of our home-cooked meals. Fresh from yesterday and or even last week. Sleep in our beds with fresh sheets changed less than a month ago. Have a most pleasant stay. After that pitch, I seriously deserve a raise. Um, <laughs> what you deserve is an OSHA <laughs> inspection. Um, him? Hmm? Do you hear any music here? I am. I'm not. Okay. But I hear you and me. I see the game, but I don't hear a game. Let's see. Did I change something here by accident, maybe? Uh, monitor and output. So it sh OBS should be recording or uh, giving the audio. Uh, Mark, can you hear the game on the music? It's... Yeah, for now you did, so I can't see the game anymore. Better, can see the game. Yeah, the... I have to bring up the uh, audio pop-up. Uh... But here, did you mute the stream sound? I can hear... Uh, yeah, it, it's on your end somewhere. Did you... Yeah, but I Do we have, have to... not muted it. What was it cannot hear Helium? Mm, no, the, or, the screen share itself. Have you? Do you have the audio on that muted or lowered? I never changed it. No, it might have been changed by Discord. And yes, you can. You can change the audio on the screen share differently than the, the people in a voice chat. There we go. Almost on max. I hear nothing. Okay. Let me see. There's stream settings, stream quality, 3720. Okay. Hmm. It's just. Maybe it works if I rejoin? Maybe. I can try that first. There we go. I don't know if I'm here or not. I'm gonna raise the volume again. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know if I hear the game or you're just in my head. Uh, Weird. Should not be anything on my side. Let's see, can you pop out the screen share and see if there's anything in the settings there? I haven't changed anything, that's the problem. Yeah, but Discord might have changed things for you. This program just can't resist fucking with things. Yeah, that would be a first in ever. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even know where to look. Yeah, in the lower right, I believe, there should be a settings thing. It's because, yeah, Marco and me get the sound, so it's something on your end. 
I'm coming here every night for the past 10 years, and the food is still as awful. I just wonder why I keep coming here. Yeah, why do I anyway? As we heard, main bridge was taken by the Empire, demon force had been routed, and the king is nowhere to be found. It should be a good enough reason to drink to the Emperor's health, but I think I'll avoid doing that here. <laughs> Apparently the Demon King is hiding with his Chief of Staff. The surprise attack by our Empire, praise be to the Emperor, prevented him from joining the front. Now he's trying to rally his army while on the run. It seems his general has disappeared as well. At this rate, the war will soon be over. Long live the Emperor. I, I just do not get what might be going on. Let's see. Yeah, no idea. If I see nothing changed here. Maybe try restarting Discord or something. You'll have to force it to quit because just pressing the X button just hides it anyways, I believe. Let's see. <laughs> you wish to bring something in or out of the city? It reduced transient charges, of course. Ask Mr. Mudwell. He's in the inner courtyards. Okay, a very giggly person. Hello. That's a big rat. I got an idea. I got test something. What? A rat? Uh, <laughs> It must be a story left by a child. That's the most likely explanation, isn't it? Yeah, right. <laughs> Welcome to the river right in. I can honestly tell you that we're the best thing in town. And that even had, honestly, still, <laughs> you'll remember your stay with us for a long time. Are you the only inn in town that would explain that? Get down here, Norbert. Don't try and tell me you're drunk. The alcohol in this beer evaporated years ago. <laughs> I'm telling you I saw them. There were these strange shapes swirling around me, trying to get inside me. Rather was going by the sorcerer's headquarters. I was right next to you, and I didn't see a thing. Maybe it was that mushroom dish you had. <laughs> I did warn you not to eat anything here. Uh, back and I, I look, jumped out and tried to play a video on Discord. I was able to hear the YouTube video without an issue on Discord. Okay. <clears throat> So I feel like there is something else going on. Let's see. Maybe it's some... Actually, let me see. Maybe it is on my end then. So let yeah, me well, see. It might, I think we had to say this from before. That was yes. Not transferring everything of this one. Like it only transfer you, uh, you to me, but not the sound of the ga game. I did turn off every other recording item on my computer, so maybe it was one of them that somehow got the audio to you. Uh, let's see, if I turn this one back on... Let's see, just say if you start hearing anything. Yeah, I'm gonna actually raise the volume on my if I seem to always have it around 50. Uh, you can join in, Mark, for a bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, turning these on one by one. No effect on your end? Not yet. Hmm. Does it feel like... If it was on my end, then I should not have been able to play a YouTube video. Let's see then. Actually, let me turn all of these back on. Might be voice meter doing this stupid thing again. Um, let's see. Ah, this one, cable outputs. Okay, do you have audio now? Nope, I can only hear you. And hello there, uh, Marco. Hi. Okay, are you getting audio from the game itself, Marco? You don't. Okay. 
Hmm. Let me reconnect, see if that might do a thing. Let's see. Okay. Now anything? I see the game, I can't see you or me. Yeah. You only show the game at the moment. Yeah. Wait. Well, where box? I don't even see the yes. There we go. And I didn't. Okay. Now the sound is gone again. You, you fix everything else, but the music got lost again. What? Let's see. Maybe I need to. Oh, yeah, that shows that it's not a problem on my end. There's something going on between OBS and uh, Discord. Uh, of course. Let's see. Yep. Move that away. It should be recording the audio. Um, yeah, like... Hopefully hmm. it's only this game and not the other games. Now, if it's this game, it's likely others as well. Um, what could there have been changed that could explain this? Yeah, for, I had this out there for a moment where I only saw the game. Hmm. Okay. Actually, let me check game and disc. Voice meter input. Wait. Uh, playback, cable inputs, voice meter inputs, wait, that's, that's already worked, it's output there, wait, hmm, no it can't be that, can't be on OBS aside, hmm, Let's see... I, I really don't have an idea of what might be going on then. OBS should be recording and outputting the, mon the sounds of the OBS to you. Yeah, I did it for a moment but when I only could see the game. Yeah, but that else. was because the game was getting screen shared. <clears throat> yeah. Not OBS. So... I. Let's see, maybe I would just put all of these on. It's being dumb and change something on the background. Let's see. Still nothing? Still nothing. Mm. This is weird. Let's see. Mm. This game doesn't my provide output. too much sound, I guess. But the other games I definitely will want to hear. Yeah, I, I have no idea why OBS is being stupid with this now. Hmm. Yeah, normally I would extend the stream for this, but with the audio, other audio uh, stuff and such, I'm not in the mood much for, uh, yeah, extending things for troubleshooting. But let me do a quick search here. Um, OBS, Discord, screen share, audio. Okay, it's a uh, preview. Wait. Audio stream, what? Hold on a second. Maybe that might work. Uh, going to stop the screen share for a bit. All right. And then... Let's see. Will this work? Can I screen share this separately? Is the question. Let's see. That's a game. That's a... 
there. Can you see that? I can see everything is frozen. That's because the game uh, is... Hmm. You can see no movement? No movement. Okay, and what if I minimize this then? Still nothing? Nothing. Nothing changed. Okay, so change screen sharing the <clears throat> the preview doesn't work. Or at least the full screen preview. Maybe if I windowed I enlarge that. Hide that and then change the screen share to the preview. Can you see it, this? It's loading. Okay, I just move. I can see also. I can see my icon flash. But I still hear, don't hear the music of the game. Okay. I, I just. I just don't get what is going on then. Uh, okay, maybe something. Luckily, for so for this game, I can be fine without hearing sense. Yeah, I don't think this uh, the game is require you to hear too much. Let's see. It, um... Wait, could it be that? Um, real tech. Audio, maybe that. No, it, that shouldn't have been edited. Virtual desktop audio. Should it also be, but... Hmm. Let's see. Okay, anything now? Still no sound from game, only you uh, and me. You move mm -hmm. around. It is weird. As it is, we can play it like I can survive without sound in this game. For again, I don't think I require to hear. There's, there's no voice act in this game. Let's see. Is it just weird? Hmm. But I can say we can. We can take a look at this after the stream. Actually, it's something else I could try. Uh, though it might give you double audio or something. Let me try the full screen or windowed again. But not that. Full screen projector there. And then OBS doesn't li typically like it when it is on the same space as something else on this monitor. But if I move OBS away from it. Can you see that now? Uh, I only see OBS and a lot of... Uh, oh, wait. Uh, change oh, window. The there. Wait, that's... Okay, I can see that now it's frozen as well. Like, what is up with yeah. that? Uh. <laughs> We can take a look at that later. I can survive one stream without the sound from the game. Again, it's not voice acted. Yeah, but still the music and such. Okay, windowed projector. If at least the audience can hear the music, I'm happy. Okay, I can see movement on that. There you go. No audio. I can hear you, but not the game. But again, yeah. But let's look into that after the stream. Okay, just putting this back there. I, I just don't get why the fuck this computer just keeps having audio issues. Getting fucking sick of it. Okay. Uh, for now, let's just continue on then. You'd like to sleep? For you, that'll be 50 gold for the night. How's that sound? Uh, yeah. It's, it's your loss. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay, can we even interact with any of these beds then? Good question. It doesn't look like it, so we're, we just lost 50 gold for no reason, apparently. Or did you talk to the one with the exclamation mark? Let's see. Young woman dressed... You already talked to them. They just say to uh, go meet someone... Uh, go meet a smuggler. The young woman dressed in black and white in a gothic-style maid outfit comes to speak... To, uh, comes... To, uh, come on. There we go. And then I wake up. I would give my most treasured possession for a moment with her in real life. Oh well. Another drink innkeeper. Uh, uh, what sort of server are you talking about, Marco? Um, and then our soldiers could certainly deal with it by themselves. Hey, they should send the lieutenants too while we're at it. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Is is a hospital? I'm presuming. It's the red-haired girl is very kind. Yes, yes. Ask her. We have great fun together. I'm a sweet girl, right? Huh? Yes? What? <laughs> I can't hear you. Say I'm sweet, say it. <laughs> okay, uh, not so sweet after all. I think I'm going to have to pee soon. Okay, it's, it's not, it's a... Uh, talk to 50 different uh, NPCs. I'm hungry, when do we eat? It's more an orphanage or something. I'm bored, wanna play a game? I'm resting for a second. Oh, I do hope they leave me alone. <laughs> Welcome to the Nova Orphanage. We take care of all the children who've lost their parents to the war and other disasters. It's a constant commitment, every day and every hour. And unfortunately, every minute too. <laughs> uh, let's see. A Discord server? Okay, why did it get nuked then? Wait a minute, <laughs> I'll get you for this. Well, that didn't do anything yet. I'm suddenly concerned. Life is tough enough as it is. Then war has to come and ruin my business opportunities. Anyway, I hope we'll get at least a little damage around these parts. Always good for business damage, <laughs> mine in particular. Okay, someone's planning to commit <laughs> fraud. Uh, don't know why we just got bot raided out. Yeah, you you should you should protect your servers against bot raids because uh, bots like that will typically just start spouting all sort of bullshit. And when there's enough reports of that, typically made by those same bots, uh, servers just will get blown up. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta, yeah, Mudwell Inner Courtyard. Okay. Um, let's see, where is that inner courtyard then? My mom and dad, they're really, really, really rich. It kind of makes me a princess, right? I'm gonna ask for their pony for my birthday, and also five new dolls. Whenever I start crying, they give me whatever I want anyway. A little brat. At times I wonder if being rich is not a kind of servitude. In any case, it brings me many woes. Would I make the same choice if I had to do it all over again? I would certainly correct some mistakes. I would no doubt be even richer then. Let's see, a lovely collection of bathrobes from a number of luxury hotels. Really? Let's see, we put it on invite only and someone smuggled a bot inside. Yeah. Uh, one way that I know to protect a server against bots is to have an introduction uh, channel. Where you, someone needs to be able to react to an em <clears throat> with a, an emote to, uh, on a post before they are allowed to post anything at all. That way, well, bots can't post. Honestly, young man, I find it quite presumptuous of you to speak heck to me that way. Know that I am destined to inherit my parents' fortune. Therefore, I hardly have the time to waste speaking with people of your ilk. Yes. Someone who is not going to last long in life once the money is gone, it seems. I hate my family. The snobs who climb the social ladder on the back of big business. 
All they do is exploit people by stealing the added value of their hard labor. One day when I grow up, I'll be a revolutionary. Or maybe I'll travel around the world. I haven't really decided yet. Okay. Or inherit the castle and make sure it isn't full of corruption. Honestly, Maria, I've told you a hundred times never to combine pink and blue sheets that way. My poor girl, you have no artistic sense about you. It is very upsetting. What in the world do you do all day besides homework? Better yourself, will you? Try immersing yourself in art. Although, I doubt you would be receptive to it. Oh, of course, pushy mother trying to live through their, her kids. Mrs. is very demanding when it comes to colors. Uh, oh, it's the maid, I believe. I admit I don't well understand what she wants. Surely it's because I don't know anything about art? Uh, either way, it seems like it's the whole family of brats. Let's see, can we go this way? Move along, the city gates are closed until further notice. Chickens ran away and now they're strayed all across the city. What, you wanna help me round them up? Yep. No way. Last time I did that, I trusted the kid all dressed up in green who just screwed around. He even used my chickens to fly off the ground. Bunch of nonsense, really. <laughs> my poor hens were traumatized for weeks. I'll take care of this myself. <laughs> Link. <laughs> yeah, that one's closed. Uh, what do we have here? Today's menu. Starter, crunchy salad topped with six-legged critters. Uh, main dish, small rat stewed in its own dubious juices. Desserts, hair cook... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I'm mostly just looking around at... I'm looking... Uh, I'm, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm trying to look around for where the courtyard with this mud well is. I'm so proud of my little Dawkin. He always had such a keen sense of justice. And now he's an important man. I just hope war doesn't change him and that he'll always be my sweet little boy. Uh, good luck with that, Granny, because that doesn't happen often. Darn it, the sorceress is resistant to the library again. Since they moved into the city, it's been barely accessible. I do wonder what they're searching for in there. Regardless, all this time I've been kept from reading the next installment of the Pirate Roberts Adventure series. Oh, hello. And this door is closed. Okay. I just realized something. Hmm? Two days in a row, Discord have been having updates. Maybe the one I got yesterday should have been installed this morning. Somehow, oh, oh, there. have some slight incompatibility issues with the OBS, which they hopefully fix. Maybe I have my OBS hasn't had a, an update in a bit. So, uh, yeah, Discord hasn't had an update in a bit. <clears throat> Are you looking to leave the city? I should be able to arrange that for you. Got some chicken feed for me? You know, clams, moolah, something to smoothen our relation. <laughs> No, 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 don't trust you, but a little collateral never hurts. Gosh, I don't like the looks of this guy. I don't think it's such a great idea to deal with him. The young lady is correct, at least in theory. Never I fear we have no other choice. In the army, we often say that the ends justify the means. I think the adage applies in the present circumstances. But I shall leave the strategizing to you, solid snail. <laughs> so, you interested? Yes. I think you and me are going to get along just fine. How about a small deposit to facilitate our relations? Let's say around 450 G to start off. Uh, don't get... <laughs> we had just enough apparently. Don't get your punch in the bun. You've earned my trust now. So here's the deal. Bring me off 50 more and I'll get you out of here. Now you can always refuse of course, but in that case I'll keep your deposit. It's only natural. I'm guessing you'll accept. I uh, suppose you don't have or no longer have the money on you. Am I mistaken? If you want to leave, it looks like you have to work for it. I know that ugly word. Personally, I try as often as possible to refrain from it. But at times, the end justify the means. My assistant at the inn should be able to help you find a few odd jobs. 
In return, you'll have to sleep here. I know, I know, it's no five-star accommodation. But just think of tomorrow, when you'll be free and far from the Empire. Good luck. Goes, are you sure that was a good idea? Solid snail, I shall never let you negotiate again. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit harsh, Manus. Although Goggles did fall for it hook, line, and sinker. But he's trying his best, and that's what really matters. We have lost all of our money. And what's more, we shall have to pay our way out of the city. First of all, that was our money, not yours. And secondly, you don't have to worry, because I'll see to it that we get out of this horrible place. Is that okay with you, Goggles? After all, Menos and you are on the lam. Let me make myself useful and earn the money we need. Thanks for trusting me. Okay, let's get to work. And now we control her. Okay. I misheard you. Should I even ask? I thought you said, now we're gonna troll her. Uh, uh, you're gonna hate what happens next. It's scripted to have enough money even if you... Uh, it's scripted to have enough money even if you have 10G. Now you play as Fina. It's... I think you miss. I think you. I think you misspoke somewhat there, up Marco. Like I'm pretty sure you mean that he will take whatever money you have and then ask the extra. It's. Your are Himbo Mr. Mudwell. What can I do for you, Miss? I'm looking to do some work in order to pay Mr. Mudwell. Some work? Hmm. Let's see. Here's the list of available positions. Let me know what jumps out to you. A uh, waitress at Walk Donald's, maid at the Delamere residence, childcare, none of the above. Uh, let's go there. Are you sure you want to accept maid at the Delamere residence? Yes. Mrs. Delamere waits you in her mansion. Just remember, keep your cool. I'm not sure I'm going to like this. I'm guessing we know where that is going to be. Wait, are you going to use the maid outfit on the drunk in the inn as well? That's the orphanage. Uh, let's see. I believe it was this one. You didn't know where My Dan hides his, hides his treasure in a safe in the house. But I won't ever let you find it. And even bring if you bring me my favorite candy. Okay, sounds like a puzzle. Uh, Being is supposed to bet sixty-four. What now? Yes, sixty-four piece tea set. Too expensive to use every day. It's brand new. Ah, uh, there you are. Finally, you've barely begun, and already you're behind on your work. And what in heaven's name is that you're wearing? A flagrant abuse of aesthetic sense? <laughs> Start by putting this on. Okay, we are we are so going to want to murder her, don't we? Of course. What? <laughs> what the heck is this guy up? Don't you dare speak to me with that tone. You accepted the position, didn't you? Then do as you're told. It's your uniform. If it's not uh, if it's not to your liking. You know where the door is. I see that you've come to your senses. Now go serve my dear husband his tea. Okay, and where is the tea then? Oh, would I would have loved a cup of tea, but there's none left. Be a dear and go fetch him at Miss Raza's shop, would you? Yeah, you can keep the change. Forty. Okay, okay. And where is Raza's then? I feel like we should. Wait, go to the bar. Or the inn. And talk to him there. But the outfit is just embroidery on black velvet. It's you, my angel. Oh, I've longed to see you. In vain I search for you at the bottom of every bottle of the in every tavern around. And now my efforts have finally paid off. Here, a gift I've held onto for a long time for you. But <laughs> Candy that's been licked. <laughs> Miracles do happen. Oh well, another drinking keeper. Um. <laughs> I, the, 
I expect this something just not that reward. I, I thought it maybe a, a ring, a coin or something, like candy. Really? I think it's almost right that he would do something just. <laughs> okay, yeah, good that you thought of that. And yeah, Mark, we bought the stuff before, so we actually keep. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 yeah. Oh, my favorite candy. <laughs> give me it, okay? Okay, come on, give me. Yes. Oh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh. Oh. Is that the safe? <laughs> A lucky charm? I'm sure this will bring me luck in the game. Ah, thank you for the tea. Huh? We have some whiskey, too? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Just to say a word to my wife. Cluck, cluck, cluck. And he's out. <laughs> Lightweight. Ah, my husband has fallen asleep. Very good, my dear. You have done well. Now on to more serious matters. Why do you think I need you? Uh, clean up the house, look after the children, surf and upper... Whatever the hell that is. Of course not, I have Maria for that. What do you think I need you? Clean up the house? No. Look after the children? No. What are you on about? Ah. I shouldn't be surprised. You do seem to be quite simple-minded. You don't even know what that the primary task of a maid is to spread gossip, really? It should be obvious. But let's move on to the task at hand. Rumor mongers are claiming that the game Be a Millionaire, which my husband has won several times, is rigged. We must quash these rumors quickly. Naturally, the best way to do so is to spread a counter rumor. We must make haste every minute counts. Go spread the rumor in the city immediately. Your reward will depend on how many people you've convinced. <laughs> really? Uh, then we have a time limit? I think that game is hard to rig. But people have been caught cheating on it, but the game was not rigged. It was more of someone in the background was making suspicious coughs. And such. Uh, let's see, can we just talk to people inside as well? What? Everyone who has a chance to win? Uh, I suppose that's true. Uh, let's see. Okay, it seems they all just say a few stock sentences. Uh, the inn should be a good place. Since there's a lot of people. Uh, okay. That's an easy five right there. Why do I get the feeling that she's only gave like going to give like a coin each? Let's see. Hmm. Where next? Oop. There. Can we? Oh, yeah, we can also just talk to the guards. Okay, this is a bit dumb, but at least it's only two minutes. And, oh, now, now I see it. Walk the Arnolds because it's an upside down M, a W. Yep. Really? They also <laughs> removed the rod in A. Uh, oh, damn it. Okay, can't convince her. Sorceress? Oh, well, we could at least try. And there's two guards up here. Uh, not him, apparently. But I just realized yep. the rich mm -hmm. family are not nobles. 
Yeah. Yeah, just a few. They just won a game a few times? Apparently, yeah. So I'm did. guessing that it is very much rigged. One more. Yeah, do. Mm. I've seen uh, YouTubers do a rigged version of it, and it's rather painfully obvious when it's rigged. But if you were to do it on live TV, it's. Yeah. No, they don't have live TV here, but yeah, there it would be obvious it's uh, rigged. She does have a cock, too, but was not rigged, just somewhere in the crowd uh, just doing the rule. A coughing code. Okay. Uh, let me remove the stuff in the background for me. VC face. Uh, audio stuff. We've convinced 28 people. Well, that's something. Here's your rewards. 150, okay. So we're just 10 short of the, the sleep and the cost. Honestly, Maria. Okay. Well, no point in staying here then, it seems. Oh, it is, over, is it already night? What a day. It's about time I headed back to the inn. Okay. Now we can go sleep, it seems. Uh, yeah, you do. But Mr. Mudwell spoke highly of Lou. No charge for the night. Will you be staying? Yes. Okay. So, that should be the, co the, yeah, the cost covered then. Hopefully. We could probably uh... take on the other two jobs, but let's not. <clears throat> so, did you have the 150G? Yes. Ah. Congratulations. Looks like you worked hard. I suppose you want to get going as soon as possible, right? Here, take this key, you can use it to leave through the sewers. No need to thank me, your financial contribution is plenty thanks enough. Gives off a fragment... Uh, <laughs> it's another one of those. We made it. We're finally getting out of this city. Thank you, Miss Fina. Thanks to you, I shall see my son again. And perhaps there is still time to save my people. Don't mention it, Manos. It's natural to help one another when you share the same fate. The same fate? We demons do not believe in fate, only in free will. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It was just a figure of speech. There's no harm done. I regret getting carried away. Okay. Uh, Ghosty, I think it's time you take the lead in our little expedition. Let's go. Uh, wait. Here, take this. A little keepsake from me. With, uh, with thanks from the house. Uh, I hope it's not the bed bugs. Oh, loyalty badge. <laughs> the, kind of, the kind of item that's completely useless. Uh, of course. Well, let's hide out then. And yeah, I did get the chest, Marco. Alright, back to the sewer. I think I think the sewers are probably cleaner than the rat in the river rat in. There, oh and out. Yep. Really? <laughs> uh, I, say, I would not be surprised if that's for the article you lost to the damn bugger. Okay, there. This is my treasure, do not touch Mr. Mudwell. Yep. And there's the money we spent. Get fucked, Mudwell. Uh, was I really correct? <laughs> you were just a few seconds early with that. Uh, let's see, you could have gotten more money if you went to the locked house. Okay. Free at last. So, Goggles, what do we do now? Uh, look for a megalith, kill mobs and gain XP. Is Go home. <laughs> Not a bad idea, but I don't really see how. So, what do you say, Goggles? Uh, for for Magdalith. Of course, that's it. An excellent idea. I don't know exactly how we ended up here, but it's somehow connected to the Magdalith. If we find one, maybe then we can go home. Ah, we need to hurry. My father's going to worry. But they'll come to think of it. If the Magdalith does allow us to time travel, he's not even born yet. So we go back to before we left. Ah, 
Just thinking in four dimensions hurt my brain. <laughs> I do not quite grasp your conundrum. <clears throat> but if it is a Magilis you seek, you will find one north of my father's encampment. Really? You hear the goggles? <laughs> That's our ticket home. We'll go with you, Menos. I mean, if you don't mind. Pleasure is mine, Miss Fina. However, I do not know whether we shall reach my father's camp unharmed. If the rumors are to be believed, Mayan Bridge uh, was taken by the Empire. But perhaps we can cross it. Let us head north. We shall decide once we get there. Your strength will be of great use, Solid Snail. <laughs> Off we go. Uh, let's see. Since in the locked house is the Do You Want to Be a Millionaire minigame, which is impossible if you don't have the lucky charm. Okay. So it is rigged after all. <laughs> Can we actually go back there? Uh, no. I think it's less rigged and just... I think they used the damn item to cheat. So let's rigging in the what rigging is cheating just that. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can't go back there. Holding contest cheating. Sarah, would you happen to know anything about the dreaded pirate Roberts? The Empire is currently tied up with the war against the demons, but sooner or later we'll catch him and he'll pay for his misdeeds. If only we knew what he looked like. Okay. Uh, not even a fishing village. It only gives you a small amount of money. Okay. I dream that one day my Prince Charming will take me away on a beautiful white steed. Yeah. Uh, could you be him? By the look on her face, I don't think Goggles is the one. Some pirates have set up on the nearby islands. Must be nice being a pirate, sailing the seas, going wherever the wind takes you. Yeah, would that I were, uh, would that I were a few years younger. Uh, a few hundred. Was it easy to be a pirate? At least it paid better than being a uh, sailor in the in the other navies. But the captain got the most pay and the crew barely anything. That's why it made the big pirates. The Empire has deployed troops in enemy territory, so civilians aren't allowed to pass this point. So no one is allowed to cross the bridge at this time. Okay, is there a way to get around the bridge then? Like a boat or something. Mark a way to get Goggles' hopes down, Fina. Yep. Just our thoughts. They won't let us through. There has to be a way, Goggles. Keep looking. I we could try to swim. Also, guard, there's a slime here. <laughs> or there was. Not really good at actual guarding, are they? Let's see. Anything here? Nope, it's... Well, it's what? a clearing, and it's literally clear. Uh, wait. Welcome! Did you come from the treasure hunt? Uh, no. Ah. Oh. Let's see. It's simple. You can cut up the four bushes of your choice. My treasure is hidden in one of them. Oh, and the gardening fee is 10g. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, is this random? It's not this time. Hmm. We did find something. Yeah, just a coin. I'm guessing that's just an extra thing, Marco. Anything over here? Hephaestus Smithy? Reference to Hephaestus. You waste your time bothering me, as I have no weapons for sale. You see, I only fashion the most exceptional of uh, weapons. But such arms can only be forged with Orokin Orokon armor. Uh, yeah, or. Well, we have two of that. You dug up some Orokon? Oh, let me forge you an item with that. What would you like me to make? Uh, let's see. Let's go with the sword. You want me to forge an Orokan sword? To 
make that animal need to use four pieces of... Oh. Yeah, we don't have enough for that. And that's a Minecraft crafting bench. Of course. Okay, so we'll need four ore to get a sword. Armor would, of course, well, give them a lot more protection. <clears throat> but I think offense would be the best point at the moment. Let's see. Anything? Windy Valley. Anything around here? Nope. Let's see. Each equipment costs a different amount. Okay. Uh, how much do they how much do they cost in total then Marco? Uh, also in case it wasn't noticeable, uh, I'm using a different mic now, though apparently the audio issues are still happened on Discord yesterday. So yeah, I guess that means that the the root of the problem lies in my computer itself. Somehow. Again, that's why I've turned off every other recording thing. So, yeah. I hope that should mean that there'd be less chance of it happening. And we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah. And this is just backtracking. But yeah, also Steam, you're gonna have to... Yeah, is there just to uh, get to the Sonic menu and see if you hear anything there and there from there see what uh, you may accidentally turn off. Laboratory? And this is where... And this, this must be that uh, rumored lab of Gyro. Hold on. And it's 12 in total. Okay, that probably means four for the sword, four for the armor, and then two each for the other two. Gonna go and grab some ice cream. And there's nothing we can do here. Okay. And where do we need to go to actually make progress then? That's every area that we can see here. Hmm. You got any hints for where to go, yeah, Marco? Is there anything else here? In the 12, I think, I guess it does 12 for the armor and weapons and all that. Yeah, like I said, uh, it's likely four or for the uh, swords, four for the armor, and then two for the others each. Oh, well, that's your meant. I'm about yeah. to distract the ice cream. Hmm. Let's see. Can we. No. Nope. Oh. Careful. The boulder is going to fall this way. Uh. He quickly goggles, let's make haste and cross the bridge. Well, that worked. Uh, well, that's going to block the way back. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That was complete accident. I, I thought they might smash the boulder or something. I don't know it was an accident, but do you not see what the boulder did? Yeah, it bounced. Ugh. <sighs> Let's see, Haunted Forest. What? <clears> hmm. <throat> this place gives me goosebumps. I wouldn't want to spend my vacation here. We call it the Haunted, for haunted Forest. I, I, the Haunted? <laughs> I hate ghosts. Are you not aware that ghosts do not exist, Miss Fina? Did you hear that? Goggles, protect me. Silent Snail, protect us. <laughs> Tough guy. Uh, well, so much for ghosts not existing. <laughs> we were not welcome here. Master Jatai uh, told us uh, yeah, not to let you through. 
Turn back or die? <laughs> Let's turn back, shall we? There must be another way to reach my father's encampment. At least I hope so. No way. First off, this ghost didn't look so tough. And second, Goggles and I are really in a hurry to get back home. So are you with me, Goggles? Should we move forward? Yes. Well, mm, I'll see you in that case. <laughs> tough guy scared of ghosts. I think we just found his weakness, Goggles. And yeah, then again, go ghosts are not really you can typically punch. Yeah, unless it allows the game allows you to, or you have the correct weapons to do so. Like an enchanted or blessed blade. Okay, the music here is quite something. It's a lot more energetic. Is that supposed to be a zombie slime of sorts? Oop, level. Yep, just some health. Let's see, are we going to need to track down all of those ghosts? Um, or just get through the end? Hail! Go back. Wait, no, 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 go back where you were to get the loot there. I saw something in the forest. Um, what the heck is that? No clue, but I get the feeling we're going to meet it. And then beat it. And eat it? Maybe. Okay, uh... Dip some of the ribs. No way are you walking out of here. And of course the little brat goes in tangible the moment we try to get a hit in. Yeah. Okay. okay, get rid of the ads and then the ghost becomes permanently... There we go. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Well, that's the zombie. And the ghost was the same person. It could have just been an anchor for a spell or something. Okay, Marco says that's their master. Okay, get rid of the zombies, and then get rid of the ghosts. There. Hmm. Okay, I was almost expecting for two others to pop up there. Let's see, we've got a split. And Marco has got to go. Okay, see you next time, Marco. Uh, see you next time, Marco. I need to be careful with health. Okay. Let me guess, a star? Nope. Green goop. Okay, we don't know what that is for yet. Um, come on, I must be able to continue on somewhere here. Those, those plants are there for a reason. We need to get through that grave for one of the ghosts. So... If we go here... Okay, there we go. Let's go to go around. Oop. Okay, do we have anything that could act as a healing item? Uh, 
No, doesn't look like it. Yep, yep, come on. Okay, no ads this time. But we need a heart quick. Actually, I, we should be able to go back to that save point and maybe get healed from that. I never really checked if they healed us or anything. I hope they do. And yeah, the, the, the music here is rather Castlevania-like. I really do not understand why the hell it's messed up. And no, we can't activate it again. We need to activate a different save point before we can activate that one again. Okay. Better hope that we get some hard drops this way. Ah, there we go. And that does indeed heal us. But only if you find a new one. Now, I think if we go back, we'll probably be able to get healed from the other one as well. Oh, but so still oh. better to try and avoid the damage. Yeah, and watch your back, Marco. Okay, false alarm, I can stay. Okay. Yeah, hopefully hmm. just activate all those things again. Then we turn off them in order to identify which one you should not turn off. True, but I did that already just now, but... Hmm. Oh. Yeah, we'll have to see about it. It shouldn't be an issue. Unless, hold on a second. Did um, something problem you? In the volume mixer. No, OBS is not set as muted, so it should still be recording the audio. Hmm. I just don't get what is up with that. Yeah. If we are lucky, it's only this game. If we are lucky. Yeah, and if not, that is going to be for every game. But we did see it play up music to this one earlier when it reached only the game. This, we did that before for me in the past. I, I think we had a moment early on in that for some reason OBS wouldn't give audio over <clears throat> over the uh, uh, over Discord either. Hold on a sec, I think... Mm, no, it, it's advanced. Move it out of the way. Uh, let's see. Game desktop, monitor and outputs. Hmm. Some... It's, this, this might mute the game for stream for a moment. Let's see. Can you hear anything now? I can only hear you. Okay, Marco, can you hear anything? Hmm. See, we'll have to wait through the 30 second delay, I believe, and then... Oh no, he he left after all, it seems. Okay, no, no use in that then. Hmm. Okay. I will really need to figure out what the hell is up with that. Hello there? Yeah. So you're the intruders oh. who dared enter my forest. Hmm? That face. This forest belongs to the King of Demonia. Though it lies near the Empire, it is clearly on our territory. Humans, demons, you're all the same, aren't you? It's a very Dragon Ball-like face. <laughs> Killing each other over a line drawn on a map. Well, this forest is mine, because me and my ghost friends live here. This ghost to your friends? Yes, absolutely. They entertain my and me whenever I like. And it sounds more like servants than actual friends. Actual friends? And what do you know about it, humans? 
If you think you're so special, humans, find my ghosts. Do not get through this forest without catching them. You still have two more to find. Poor Guardian, he doesn't know what it's like to have a friend. I must say, I do not like the looks of this place. Uh, oh, for Marco? Okay, except uh, you two, nothing. Now I can hear the game. Okay, so... Yeah, I, I changed the mo the, out the monitoring the, the the monitoring of the sound to uh, monitor only, which would mute it on the output and then turn it back. But yeah, that does indeed seem to mess with it. Then there is something missing, and oh, I yeah, <laughs> we all know oh. how that goes. I hate those. Let's but see. I even had that on one of the Digimon games. And I have, to this day, a massive... Uh, Alright, I, I can take this uh, Q&A. A bit of a hint and all that. Hmm. And um, it apparently came out as... about 80 pages or something. Okay. I was uh, not ready for it to be bloody 80 pages when I printed it out, and yes, this was during the PlayStation 1 era. Where could those other two ghosts be? There were no two, those two headstones up there, but they don't seem to react. Is there something the other way? Maybe something missed. There, there is no other way here. Now there's a... Wait, can we walk in that water? It is shallow enough. Question is, would you want to walk in the water? Also, oh, there's probably somewhere that we can cut down. Yeah, we went left of the uh, three gravestones. At worst, there was one hidden over there. Anywhere where we can go down by the water or along the water. Up there. Here, maybe? Oh, that just goes back to him. Mm, no. Hmm. There must be another way to get around to there. Actually... Is there another hidden path? Yes, there is. Okay, this this could be so water. annoying. Yep. Hello. Save up. Uh. Okay, just oh. avoid those. Okay, that's too high for us to jump. Hmm, okay. You better make sure that you get this another game where you can accidentally get your permanent stuck. So I feel like Anything this with is those mushrooms. Point uh, oriented. Wait for that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I I do not know why the hell OBS is being difficult. Oop. Oh, and we're dry. Okay, now th that explains it. Now this entire place gets turned into an underwater level, and we can actually go get the other stuff. Okay. And these it's areas are now. Pockets of air. Yeah, you don't need it. 
Okay, that was pretty clever. Yeah. What did I rather say? I wasn't sure if I've seen that in, in all the games. Well, it, it's... I think I've seen it in a few games, but it's not common. Yeah, like... Do you have uh, rooms where you do all the water levels in them? Yes. But... What if you have to do it like this, that like you need to turn a room into a water level? Just to drain another area. More green goo. Still no clue what that is for. Ain't it obvious? What, Nickelodeon goo? Candles. In green goo is ogre e-wax. Okay, coming out to you. I think we don't have to fight zombies with these last few anymore. Okay, now that we know that there are more hidden pots, we should check for any... <clears throat> oh, these respawns. We should check for any more. <laughs> Marco is asking what that sound was that you made. I'm not trying to do ghost sounds, but I ended up doing a stereotypical vampire voice. Ah, I had a feeling. Oh. Damn it! Now I have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> what, do you feel like dancing on the ceiling? I don't know if that's probably really just I have a feeling and something, something, something. Is there a point where we can go to the left here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, what is the point of going here then? Where's this last one hidden? Go to the maze. Says Morco. Uh, what maze? I, I've already had one to the left of the three gravestones. And in, is in, I'm pretty sure this entire place qualifies as a maze. Right. Maybe you didn't fully explore oh. it. It might have more than we you thought. The maze up here. I should use that attack more often. Yeah, the uh, lost woods like uh, maze and such. Let's see. Oh, All right, of course here. I hate these. Yeah, the only reason I finished one of the Digimon games on PS1, the uh, the one where you actually have the bear Digimon and such, Edge of the Forest, was for I had at least tips on how to get through it in with that one, and I feel like you always. This is one of the things that you always want a guide for, for they just could... Yeah, it says if you were to play this game, or need to go through it a few times while exploring the world, you will not bloody remember how you got through it first time. Yeah, I think the most infamous case of these things is in Super Mario RPG. And yeah, I read the sign, Marco, it, it doesn't say anything other than Edge of the Forest. So, yeah, no clue of how to get through that. Wait, wait, edge of the forest? Yeah.
Is the hidden pause between the, the tree lines? I was checking for that earlier. It feels almost something like that this game will do. The sign changed? What? Edge of the forest, edge of the forest. Wait, what changed? Hold on. If we go up one, then go back. Nope. It's not changing. If it's supposed to change, it's not, Marco. Because it keeps setting the same thing. There's no sign here. Oh, is it up, up? I'm just going to it plain look it up. Evo Land 2. Forest Maze. Haunted Forest Maze. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. There's no ghost there. Try exploring other places. Uh, you should go to the edge of forest once you found all six ghosts. Okay, that's, this is later, Marco. Okay. Does it say where the, uh, the ghosts are? Uh, that it didn't say. So let's just keep checking the walls. So, yeah, you're thinking of after the ghosts have been found, Marco. Where is the last damned ghost? I've already been through here. Uh, come on. Got them through this earlier. There we go. I've done that one. Because we can go up here. And around. Yeah, that one's already gone. So where is the sixth one then? Hmm. Yeah, th this sort of thing is not like at all, because it's a big time waster. There, and then... Yeah, like... There. Well, these are you shoot house with challenge, it should be too easy to do of some things, but... Very piece like an obvious... Very painfully obvious a time waster. Again, it's bad. I'm just going to look it up again. Let's see. Five gravestones in the middle? Five? In the mid. Are you seeing me like that? Up there? Up there? How do we get there? Hmm. Maybe that one we need to find another path too. Let's 
There's no opening there. Mm. Wait, he's there? And those graves are... Is there a prof? Wait, there's like... trees everywhere, Marco. But there's grass there? No context is going to lead to no progress. There. There's a road over there. Okay, we need to get to the other side of the water here. Wait. Yep. How? Really, Simon says? Is this uh, the left of the trace near the master? Oh, stand in the middle. I think I almost had it there. There we go. Oh, all right, that works too. Yeah. This one has ads again. There we go. Okay, that, yeah, that was just a dumb oversight for me. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And now we're going to have to fight the big guy, I presume. There. And do you think you're so special? What? You found all my ghosts? Then as promised, I'll let you leave the forest. But... Who will I, who will I play with now? Go away and never come back again. You'll be all alone here. I couldn't take that. Let us journey on, Solid Snail. My father's camp is not much farther. An actual friend. Leave now and never return. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> you put that on your own shoulders by challenging us to kill them. Oh, well. Technically, you set us to find them, but yeah, the ghost attacked us. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they call him master, not friend. Oracon or, okay. One more and we can get the sword. And this way is nothing. And this way is the exit, okay. Look! Humans! How did they find our camp? Quick, grab them, we can't let them escape! Wait... Lord Menos? You're alive! The king thought... Uh, <coughs> thought you lost forever after the sorceress captured you. These humans helped me to escape Genova. They are my guests, no harm must come to them. Humans? Helped you? Believe it or not, they did. Take me to my father. I must speak with him at once. Inform and inform my son that I have returned. Yes, Lord Menos. Okay. Lord Menos? Uh, also, Marco, how is the audio balancing of the game? Or rather, of my voice compared to the game? I'll explain everything later. I must see my father before it is too late. Thank you again for your help. You're lucky, humans. There are some humans like you fooled Lord Menos that I do not know. But I've got my eye on you. Okay, audio is good. Humans in the Demon King's camp? Now I've seen it all. Don't touch anything. 
Touch. If, if Lord Menace trusts you, then so do I. Unless you're spies. Wait. Father, I have returned. Arthas, Menos, my son. I thought I had lost you. When the Empire soldiers joined forces with the sorcerers and attacked us out of nowhere, despite our ten-year truce, you were the one who stepped in and allowed us to escape. Wait, so it was the humans who are the aggressors in the war? I only did my duty as general of our, of our people's army. And I have to protect you. You did your duty, I'll grant you that. Let's get a quick sip. <clears throat> the current situation is dire. Following the surprise attack by the Empire's forces, we were separated from the rest of the army. I have been trying to rally our troops from here, but we're far too behind. We're too far behind. Sorcerer's power is too great. Father, we must fight. I know, but things are off to a bad start. I fear Demonia will be attacked before we can reach and defend it. After centuries of coexistence, it seems the humans have now decided to exterminate us. I cannot let that happen. And not all humans are evil. I learned that during my stay in Genova. I'm glad that you made friends in these dark times. But there is something else. The Empire, they have built something they call the Weapon. I have yet to identify its energy source, but it has frightening power. If they ever use it against us, our entire kingdom would be wiped off the map. I'd heard stories about this weapon, but I did not think... If what you say is true, we must stop them from using it. I will not leave my people to die. Father? No, oh, hello, that's a familiar face. Dad. Yeah. Dad, you came back. I knew you were alive. Reno, my son. Forgive me, my absence must have caused you much grief. Not one bit. I didn't even cry. I knew my dad was the strongest of all. <laughs> yes, your father is very strong indeed. He killed all those mean humans and came home. Yeah. Are those humans your prisoners, Dad? No, those are nice humans. I would even call them my friends. Nice humans? But there are no nice humans. <laughs> you shall see when you grow up. I hope you too will have human friends. Never. <laughs> Most predictable response ever. Miss Fina saw it snail, forgive him. He is but a child, and to him all humans are the enemy. I understand. But if human children and demon children are all believe the myths, can there ever be peace between our two people? I almost forgot. You did not come here to listen to these stories. I will take you to the Megalith. It's north of the encampment on the block. He didn't answer my question. And my guess is that uh, that head sorcerer is behind all of this. Aren't you hungry? I am, and you look pretty appetizing. <laughs> like I was going to eat you. Then again, it's the kind of stories you tell your young ones, right? Yeah, <laughs> leaning into that doesn't really help much. Your human friends attacked us by surprise, despite the truce we observed for nearly ten years. How could they be so cowardly? Any friend of Lord Mendes is a friend of mine. What do you need? Oh, hello? Uh, plus five attack? Yes. Uh, look around the camp before going to the top of the hill. Yeah, I was playing to that. It looks nice, but dang, is it heavy. Yep. Bronze armor as well. 
Whenever you take it off, you'll be able to jump 10 feet in the air. Uh, let's... Let's actually... Let's actually not sell the old sword. Uh, my reasoning is that there, there are a lot of... No, not a lot, but there are some RPG games where... You can, if you keep your old starter equipment, you can get it upgraded to be like the best stuff uh, in the game. If you keep, if you hang on to it till the end of the game. Yeah. So I'm going to see if this is one of those. It's a rare trope, but it is a trope all the same. Yeah. The only time I, looked, I first time I saw that happen that I was aware of and got news of would be Starbound. I will never trust humans again. Not after the attack in the middle of a truce. So, nothing here. Anything else around the camp that I should look at, Marco? I found the trader. Uh, maybe oh, this one here? You should probably follow Lord Menos and see what's happening. But since you seem so interested in the lives of demon soldiers here, I will tell you about my own. Oh. I was born 60 years ago, which makes me fairly young for a demon, who lived much longer than humans. You know? My childhood in Demonia was rather peaceful. There were indeed a few wars with your previous emperor, but nothing too serious. Fairly routine, you know. Just uh, <laughs> your average border skirmishes, where who knows how many die. Humans and demons have never really gotten along. Which reminds me that I once had a human friend. Now, he wasn't like you at all, but we had some good times together. And that's probably why I'm telling you all this. In fact, what was I going to say? I don't really remember, but no matter. Thank you for coming and speaking with me. It's nice to chat with someone. The other demons don't like to talk to me, on account I talk too much. <laughs> As if liking to talk was a flaw. Well, it's true I like to have a chat with people who come and see me, but then they quickly walk away. Do you have any idea why? No, of course you don't. It also seems I forget uh, that I've met people, and so I do the same thing over and over. Can you believe that? I, for one, believe it, because I don't know if you've noticed, but everyone does the same thing. It's really odd, isn't it? I do wonder if there's not an unsolved mystery in the world out no, there. Yeah, if I wonder, I do wonder if there is not an unsolved mystery in there somewhere, a hidden meaning to the universe. That were all just robots made to spit out what someone else wrote. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm talking nonsense, but why not, right? After all, the greatest strides made by science were based on the most outrageous theories. Well, that's me done, I think. <laughs> okay, that was a long chat. I'm glad I was not the one doing voice acting for... But you, you, heard, you heard me do voice acting. I actually tried to... Spice it up when I try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he talked a lot, but there's been characters far more annoying with how much they chat. Yeah. Like a certain owl, or actually two certain owls. Here's the mesolith I spoke of. It's definitely a mesolith. It has the same symbols etched into it as the one that brought us here. But then I don't know how to activate it. Activate it? Magilists are nothing more than monuments of the ancient magi in civilization. They do not serve any purpose. Oop. What was that? That sounds like bombardment. It's the Empire. The sorcerers are attacking the camp. Uh, what? How the world did they find us? Find them. No member of the Demonia royal family must get away. Oh, great. This jackass with his peanut staff. Yeah, there you are. The great mages. Run away, son. Run. Menos Demonia, son of King Arthur's general and heir to the throne. I have you to thank for this. Me? No. How did you... How did I follow you? I heard it wasn't that hard, although I didn't think you would make it through the haunted forest. But when you did survive, all it took to track you down was guessing where you would have exited from. And here I am. 
I, I would have thought more of something put in that big ass collar around his neck. What I'm have I done? Insane. This is all my fault. Oh, don't fret now. You won't have to despair much longer. Yep. And that broke the Magilith. Uh, um, you said broke. I think he did something else. I broke and activated, and. Well. <laughs> and with that, we're gone. They disappeared? How could that be? Find them. They can't be very far. Well, they aren't, but in another way, they are very far away. Like 50, 60 years away. Yep. Hello. We might be a bit more than 50, 60 years away. Pardon? Hello! <laughs> what the heck are you doing here? You weren't taking advantage of my being... Where are we anyway? The Magilith? It activated when the Sorcerer destroyed it. That means we're back home. Well, I hope I have this strange feeling of... volume. <laughs> Just like that day I ate too much chocolate, but without the stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have the same feeling, Goggles? It's odd. None of us have chocolate mousse. <laughs> uh, yeah, you might you might be feeling that uh, third dimension weighing in on you, Fina. Anyway, enough about this chocolate mousse thing. The Magilis will no longer work. Where have the sorcerers gone? And my son, how is he? Menos. Actually, it's a bit complicated. Where should I begin? What do you mean complicated? They're all dead, is that it? Well... Hold on, let me explain. They... This isn't going to be easy. Uh, let me actually check. Uh, look around the camp. I'm back. Had to do some hunting. My sister saw a roach. Uh, we're... We're not in the same time as before. Goggles and me come from the present. I mean, for you, it's the future. But to us, your present is our past. I'm not sure I'm being very clear. I did not understand the thing. They're all dead, is that what you're trying to tell me? In a way, yes. Or maybe they're just older? I refuse to continue this conversation. I must find my son and save my father. Uh, seeing as we're likely sometime after the war ended, or a, a, a lot further after the war, there might, might not be anyone alive at all. That Marco Beauty. Well, yes, but no. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a new approach. We can't leave him alone, Goggles. Okay, this all looks very nice. Uh, hello. Menos. In the year 950 of our lords, here were the demons vanquished by Emperor Lothair. Yeah, Lothair and his troops. The inscription on the statue. How is this possible? It's what I was trying to explain, Menos. The Magilith, we traveled through time. Gorgosne came from the year 999, almost 50 years after the demons were defeated. An accident led us to your time, and the Empire captured us. When the great magus destroyed the Magilith, something came out of it. I think that 
thing brought us here. I really wish we'd return home, but I get the feeling we're in a far different time period. In a diff All of this seems impossible. And yet the statue. But why? What is the meaning of our lives if everything is already written? You, no time to get existential, Menos. I don't understand it much myself. But look at Goggles. He continues to fight, no matter what. At first, I was terrified at the thought of being lost. But while following Goggles, I began to understand. Life is just right now, this very moment, wherever you happen to be. I don't know if the past has already happened or if the future can be changed. But I know I exist right in here, right now. It's just me in the here and now. And Goggles is the one who made me realize that. So I'm not afraid anymore. Although rats and mushrooms still do it, of course. I am not convinced. My people have been conquered. They shouldn't be here. My son, what has become of him? He was planning something in the, in the year 999. So would that have happened here now? Instead of asking ourselves all these questions, we'd be better off looking for another Magilith. If you were able to go back into the past, then you should be able to return to your own time. Let's focus on that instead of dwelling on questions we can't answer. Hey, doesn't that sound like an adult at Goggles? <laughs> I don't know if I can be as strong as Solid Snail or Miss Fina. But I'll do my best. And the best is all you can do. Or your best is all you can do. Uh, to the future, no trails of fire this time, what? Where was this? the game, trails of fire? This is the point where I get a little foggy. I haven't played this part much, okay? Nothing is impossible except the words impossible. <laughs> it seems impossible for you to spell it uh, because it's only with one M, Marco. Oh dear. Hold on. Ah, oh, what a fine young man you are. Folks call me Granny Bibi, but you've got the heart of a young woman. But, yeah, but I've got the heart of a young woman. Besides, I'm not really that old. So anyways, feel free to invite me out some evening. We could go out for potions, maybe more if you feel a spark. Hey, speaking of potions, what can I do for you, darling? Um... I'm uh, totally worried. <laughs> uh, oh, no, that achievement is a reference to Back to the Future, since the DeLorean leaves <laughs> tire trails of fire when it oh. goes uh, 88 miles. Let's see. I hope you brought me the good stuff, my sweet gummy bear. Uh, wait. Oh, Granny Bibi's gonna fix you a real nice potion. Okay, so that's what the goop is for. A red potion for restoring all of our HP. Think of me when your pretty lips touch the bottle. <laughs> okay, and what do we get for green goop? Oh, so I'm... She is very much like, uh, uh... Restores half of your XP, okay. Like, the old woman set atop a... <clears throat> set atop a, an orb like that. I've, I've seen that before, but I don't remember where. You no, know, you, you, know, you can only carry a single potion of the same type, my fallen angel. <laughs> okay, and let's see. See you soon, my rubber ducky. <laughs> I I can't oh, don't know worry. if it was Dragon Quest or Dragon Ball where I've seen that before. Run away. Bravely you run away. Uh, like Sir Robin. Yeah, you're surprised if it's uh, Helium at this moment. And I'm guessing you're going to see a combat change. Hello. If you bump into the boss, don't judge him by his appearance. Some people call him a monster, but that's because they don't know him. 
And anyway, he takes good care of us. Without him, we'd just be one of the mill thieves. And what, you are top of the mill th thieves under his <laughs> command? Ah, uh, new boss. Don't you worry, this job is real easy. We just find stuff that's banned in the capital and resell it to people who want it. It's not too dangerous, as long as you don't get caught by the militia, of course. He okay, said so he... new recruit, not the new boss. No, new recruit, yeah, but... Uh, guess we'll have to go find this boss then. And it sounds like the Empire is still standing. Uh, let's see. Okay, can't smash those. I wonder who is the boss, Sarcasm. Let's go see them then. I used to live in Genova. My dream was to become a trader. But I quickly learned that only traders' sons become traders. So then I came here. When you think about it, our work is kind of like what traders do. Just less legal. <laughs> Don't see anything bad about the boss. He's our savior. Many of us are sons of pirates. Long ago, a volcano erupted on our island. The boss took us in and taught us a new trade. Who? From pirating to smuggling? The pirates Wait, is an it, is... island. So I guess that island is no more due to the volcano. And I'm guessing their boss is <laughs> Dread Pirate Roberts then? The boss grew up here, so he's very... Oh. Personally, I found it a little, a little gloomy at first, but I got used to it eventually. What? Ghosts? You do know ghosts don't exist, right? Okay, uh, is <laughs> the son is going to be the boss, isn't he? If you're looking for the boss, I'm afraid he has eh, he's had a bad day. He took off to get some rest in his lair. Best not to disturb him while he's in that mood. He has a short fuse. And besides, his lair is chock full of booby traps. Anyway, it's up to you. You've been warned. All right. <laughs> okay, the, the trees actually blink and everything. <laughs> nice little detail. Hug? All right. Time to go crypt diving. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> Swamps. What did you call them? Swamps. I believe that's what... It swamps. T-W-O-M-P-H, I believe. They're Mario enemies. <laughs> the the, the oh. big falling boulder ones up. Uh, arachnophobia alert. Let's see, that's... Oh, oh hello. That... Okay, I did not expect that. I thought those were actual decorations, not statues coming to life. Oh dear. They just gotta flank them. There we go. Okay, that was a nice little yeah, that was a nice little fight. Okay, and apparently Marco doesn't like this place. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh nose actually hurts. Your nose hurts? No. Wait, wait, what did you say then? Nose hurts. Your nose? I would have said nose. Okay, we need to get one... Oop. There. Uh, let's see. Oh, we want to have about uh, 10 minutes remaining since we did not extend time. Okay, now how to get that thing oh. kept up. Mm. 
there. That should light those up. And then there's one here. There we go. Let's see then. Uh, Marco, it took me almost a week to finish this dungeon. Okay. Uh, let's hope we don't have that much issue with it. Oh, now these pop divide into even more. Rusted. Sweet, I can blow up <laughs> steam on something that won't complain afterwards. Apologies in advance if I break it. Don't break it, Fina. Yep. Wrong attack. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll have to try and find out what the hell is up with uh, the OBS audio or Discord OBS audio uh, between this stream and the uh, second stream tonight where we'll be continuing and more than likely finishing off uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Huh. How can you just stop here? Oh, uh, it's for those that it will take a while before we get another checkpoint, ain't it? Uh, there we go. Oop. Oop. Okay, finally get some attack up again. No. Do I have to deal with you three? We dealt with all the fish. Those don't seem to be reacting. Hmm. And that closed behind us. Okay. And what do we have to do here then? These just get back up. Where can we jump? Actually. There we go. Just gotta hit them harder. Let's see. The dungeon has six checkpoints and you're at three of six. Let's see. Was that all of them? Up uh, oh, there you are. Almost hidden. And there we go. Oh, I see. We have to move that into position and then raise the water. There. There. Back to Fina. Uh, so leave the other half for the next stream. I. Oh, got that wrong. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to stop it at the next checkpoint. Because this one isn't activating anymore. Uh, actually, we can stop at the next time that the game puts up a save. So I'll have to keep an eye on the corner. Uh, also, Marco, would you say it would be decent to keep the game like this? Or should I narrow it in so it is actually in the 4x3 resolution that I have on screen? Yeah, I'll have to put in some um, sidebars as well, then. No, we can save. Okay, there. Okay. Um... Narrate. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'd forgotten that the game goes into... Uh, <clears throat> I'd forgotten that the game goes into 4x3 when it's windowed, because now it's jumped back to full screen again. Which is annoying. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah. End the game, then we head over here, and hey. we're going to look for someone to raid. Hmm? You were going... There. You were going to say something? Uh, you turned off the screen share. That's yeah, because I quit the game, that's... If the game quits, then the screen share quits, so... It started up on the browser, and there's quite a few people online. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Puffle is streaming Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, Hisaya is doing an ASMR stream. Sarovis is playing Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. Derpy Doo is playing Terravia again. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, <laughs> they started that right on the day that we did a test with Terravia, early, uh, yesterday, I believe. Uh, they, they played it uh, some weeks ago, actually, when we raided them. Uh, yeah, but I, they started a new world with it, I think. Yeah, uh, he was using back then the same mod I'm using. Okay, Corridust is doing a donut song, but they're sleeping. Edrum is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Nice is streaming the same. Rafu Raccoon is streaming Exo Primal. Uh, you've uh, wor you've uh, worded your dis uh, displeasure with that game before? I, I'm Distrust? I'm streaming neutral, but I kind of see why the Dark Crisis fan feel pissed off for the they really want the Crisis remake, and they heard rumors about what they're making, and then Exo Primal came out, and they have a character that is not Regina, but there's up as her, like an Easter egg. So I can't understand why some people did get pissed. I'm, I'm really mildly disappointed, but I can't see why others are furious as well. Yeah. Uh, second to last, we have... WBPL, who is streaming Breath of the Wild. And last, we have Kiri Natsuyoko, who is streaming Clone Hero, which is that, uh, <laughs> yeah, Guitar Hero clone. There's also Horatius the Dwarf, but it seems like they're doing another therapy uh, stream. Yes, they're just chatting. Uh, let's see, who are you rating for the balloons? <laughs> uh, depends on who <clears throat> the Kier wants to raid, or I can go look for someone else. I'm tempted with Derby Doo, but we can try see what orders the horse raid. Okay. Um, let me double check that the place is muted. Yes, it is. Okay. So, uh, there we go. I lost him in the list for a bit. Derpy Doo, they're down at lava level, digging around, it seems. Uh, um... Looks like they're really early on still, but oh, that's, that's a gold pickaxe. That's not too far in, I believe, like the third tier or something. But yeah, let's copy the name. Then we head over to our place, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Marco, for sitting along. Thank you, Sensei, for lurking. And thank you, as always, Rick here. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And yeah, we'll have to figure out why the hell Discord doesn't want to screen share OBS's sounds. Um, I really think we've had this before, but I've completely forgotten how to fix it. Yeah, there really was an easy fix. Yeah, stupidly really easy much. fix. Um, yeah. Anyways, then we'll have we have about two hours just to. Uh, to test that out so for now let's start up the raids and yeah thank you all again and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone and watch out for zombie seagulls <laughs>